I just interviewed the owner of a nickel mine. We talked about the different types of battery chemistries. If you want to see that video, I'll put a link in the description below. And we talked about scarcity of different battery materials. One thing we pointed out was that right now, basically all EVs and more than likely all EVs for the next decade rely on lithium. That could be an issue. Here is an interesting solution to that dilemma. Could this new material actually replace lithium? Well, it turns out it's very possible. And in fact, it's actually even likely. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. My name is Sam Evans, and I'm coming to you from Melbourne, Australia. One of my Patreon supporters sent me through a link to an article about the reality of the issues with lithium and that we could, in fact, replace lithium ions with calcium ions. And this is something I've read a little bit about in the past, but it appears as though this concept is gaining momentum. Researchers are proposing affordable and sustainable alternatives to lithium ion batteries. Now, obviously, the main two types of battery chemistries are lithium ion phosphate batteries and lithium ternary batteries. Now, primarily lithium ion phosphate batteries use lithium, iron and phosphate. Lithium ternary batteries are use a range of different materials, including, of course, lithium. Many of them use cobalt and nickel some manganese, some aluminium as well. New lithium iron phosphate batteries due to come out by the end of this year from a range of manufacturers will also use manganese in the cathode. This will help them to increase energy density in lithium iron phosphate batteries by about 20%. The challenge here though is that, well, basically all battery chemistry types being used in vehicles right now, all of them use lithium. And of course, eventually, this will be a problem when it comes to supply. Concerns regarding scarcity, high prices and safety regarding the long-term use of lithium-ion batteries has prompted a team of researchers from Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute to propose a greener, more efficient and less expensive energy storage alternative. I like this idea. In research published recently in Proceedings of the National Academy of Science, PNAS, corresponding author Nikki Koraka and John A. Clark and Edward T. Croissant, Professor of Engineering at Rensselaer, and his team assert that calcium ions could be used as an alternative to lithium ions in batteries because of their abundance and their low cost. Clearly, I like the idea of abundance and low cost. Lithium, do we have a lot of it? Is there abundance of lithium? Yeah, there absolutely is. There's a hell of a lot of lithium in seawater, in all kinds of places. But low cost, that's a different issue. Lithium does actually cost a fair bit because when you mine lithium, or when you take lithium from seawater or from brine, you do need to refine it. And that costs more as well. Now, the vast majority of rechargeable batteries products are based on lithium-ion technology, which is the gold standard in terms of performance, said Dr. Koratkar. However, the Achilles heel for lithium ion technology is cost. Lithium is a limited resource on the planet and its price has increased drastically in recent years. Now, is that true or is that sensationalism? It's absolutely true. Chinese battery companies right now, not just Chinese battery companies, but all battery companies. However, we know this information has been disclosed by Chinese battery companies are paying three times the price of lithium than what they were paying 12 months ago, three times. Now that's an average, that's not a spot price for a day. We're talking three times the price now for several months in a row. That is of course a challenge. It's such a big challenge that CATL, the world's largest battery manufacturer, their share price dropped drastically once the market realized what was happening. What was happening? Their revenue dropped massively. Well, not their revenue, but their profit. Revenues up, profits are down. In fact, profits have more than halved since this dilemma has happened, since lithium costs have soared. 
CHL has tried to pass some of the costs on to its customers, but it's had to bear a lot of these costs themselves. So while CHL continues to expand all over the world and deliver more and more batteries to more and more companies, including Tesla and a range of other car brands, the cost to them for these batteries continue to go up. Why? The biggest reason, the cost of lithium. Dr. Korotkar said, we're working on an inexpensive, abundant, safe, and sustainable battery chemistry that uses calcium ions in an aqueous water-based electrolyte. While the larger size and higher charge density of calcium ions relative to lithium impairs diffusion kinetics and cyclic stability, Dr. Korotkar and his team offer oxide structures containing big open spaces, heptagonal and hexagonal channels as a pr prospective solution. In their work, an aqueous calcium ion battery is demonstrated using orth orthohombic and trigonal polymorphs of molybdenum, vanadium oxide, as a host for calcium ions. The calcium ion is divalent, and hence one ion insertion will deliver two electrons per ion during battery operation, explains Dr. Korotkar. This allows for a highly efficient battery with reduced mass and volume of calcium ions. However, the higher ionic charge and the larger size of calcium ions relative to lithium makes it very challenging to insert calcium ions into the battery electrodes. We overcome this problem, he said, by developing a special class of materials called molybdenum vanadium oxides that contain large hexagonal shaped channels or tunnels that run through the material. The team have demonstrated that calcium ions can be rapidly inserted and extracted from the material, with these tunnels acting as conduits for reversible and fast ion transport, and the findings indicate that MOVO provides one of the best performance reported to date for the storage of calcium ions. Calcium ion batteries might one day in the not so distant future replace lithium ion technology as the battery chemistry of choice that powers our society, explains Dr. Koretka. This work can lead to a new class of high performing calcium based batteries that use earth abundant and safe materials and are therefore affordable and sustainable. Such batteries could find widespread use in portable and consumer electronics, electric vehicles, as well as grid and renewable energy storage. The other thing to keep in mind, another development is the recycling of lithium ion batteries has come a long way. Massive battery companies have sprung up that are capable of recycling all kinds of lithium ion batteries and using every metal in that battery for new battery packs. In addition to that, I also made a video about sodium ion batteries, which CATL, the world's largest battery manufacturer, says will cost 30% less than lithium ion batteries. Now, sodium, of course, is one of the most abundant materials on the face of the planet. A 30% discount on lithium ion phosphate batteries would make these batteries the cheapest batteries in the world. Check out my video on that. I'll put a link in the description below to sodium ion batteries, which I believe may just change the world. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts about calcium ions and sodium batteries. What do you think the future is? And as always, have a great day. Bye-bye.